Hello guys and welcome back, this is Player and today I am going to show you a sandblock displayer, an alternating sandblock displayer. So when I press this button, this sandblock will actually go into this position and this red sandblock will go back into this storing position. see it is uh, quite compact and uh, these blocks are not necessary and the rest are the essential blocks and things you need to build it so let's just crack on to how to build this thing so the first thing you need of course you need a few sticky pistons so the first one you want to place on the ground actually not in the ground level but um, if the ground level is at this level, then you want to place the uh, sticky pistons a few blocks below. That would be one, two, three, four, five, five blocks below the ground level, and then you want to place a sand block. So before I just crack on to how to build this thing, let me just explain why I can't just do it a little bit smaller size. So um, when I put a resting block here, you guys may expect that, um, well some of you guys may think um, the sand block will be launched into the sky because um, it's landing, now it's sitting on a slime block and the slime block just pushes um, entities upwards. So like this. So um, it's actually correct, so slime blocks does push um, entities upwards, but one thing is you need to notice, this is not an entity, this is a sand block. Currently it is still a sand block, so as this is not a an, 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 I mean, it's not an entity, so um, even if, if you um, power the piston, it's just going to push the block instead of bouncing it into the sky. So, that is one thing, and um, the another thing, um, some people might have an idea. Um, if you put a sandstone here, and I just power this piston, and once I did, um, once I depower this piston, um, the sand block will fall down as an entity. So, when there is an entity, when the sand block is an entity, um, it's going to be pushed. I mean, bounced up upwards in the sky by the slime block. So it is actually lo logical. It actually turns into um, an entity for like four seconds. But another thing to notice is the um, the behavior of slime blocks because slime blocks actually um, when when uh, a slime block is retracted or pushed it, um, it will try to move. Um, its surrounding blocks um, sticking to its side. So um, in this case, this slime block will actually just stick with this um, sand block. So when I deploy it, it will just stay as a block. So when I do not um, trigger it and bounce it into the sky and deploy it or still trigger it into the sky, um, there's a few solutions and um, here is one of the solutions when I were discovering the um, the falling sand resting between two blocks kind of thing and as you can see there was a um, piston right here but um, it was pulled back once um, I, I pressed that button so what it is doing is um, this piston is straight out and then this pull um, this piston actually pulls up this um, sand block and um, as the sand block now has an air block below it it will just try to um, try to fall and um, when it falls it becomes an entity so at that time if I trigger this um, slime block again it will bounce in the sky and at that time I retracted this piston so that the um, sand block would um, be sent in the sky um, without being blocked by this piston. So there's one way to do it, but um, it's not the best way, I would think, 
because um, you need a lot of timing to set to be correct and uh, they're all based on um, the length of the button so a contraption that bases on um, the input pulse the length of the input pulse is not a good contraption so here I um, I changed the design and I use another method to trigger the um, sand block into a um, an entity. So here I used uh, firstly a actually it should be placed here uh, a slime block and a so um what I mean is you place a piston here and a stick piston here and a slime block here so that when this um, extends of course it does nothing but when it retracts it will pull up the um, sand block and the sand block will try to fall down so at that time it will create um, the sand falling sand entity and thus at that time we can now trigger this slime block to launch it into the sky so if I can just demonstrate it correctly yeah, so this is the overall idea and so now what we need to do is to get the timing correct. So the first thing you need to do is place a block here and then you need to put a 3 ticks delay repeater and then a block right here. And then just put a resting torch and then there's one thing special about this design, you need to put a furnace here so that um, this slime block will not pull down the building blocks. Um, you can use, of course, other tile entities like um, dispensers, etc. But I think furnace is the best. Or of course, obsidian as well. So um, you just link up these two things. And uh, let me just give this thing a second. So now it works. but. There is another thing you need to notice, the slime block now goes to here. Let me explain why this happens. So, um, when this piston extends, um, it goes to this, this position, but if this piston extends, it goes to this position. So, at that time, um, two slime blocks will line up and they will stick to each, each other and the first one to retract the the slime block will actually retract the another slime block as well. So um, this actually creates an inconvenience to us, but there is a way to fix it, and um, that is to place three blocks here and then it's, um, line up with a redstone. And actually, um, this should be a redstone repeater, I believe. So and then the next thing is to put a redstone here, and then you just put a stick piece in here so um, this this um, this additional thing will um, shorten the pulse of this thing so that or oh actually um, let me see yeah it is to shorten the pulse of this um, machine and this should be four ticks and so that um, they would not line up and let's just test this yeah. So now you can actually restore this position, both of them. So now um, the sand block launching thingy has already been finished. And if you are only trying to make a falling sand or I mean just a sand block to bounce up, this is all there is to it. But if you want to have the secret entrance thingy, you are going to follow um, Hit. So you will place two pistons facing this direction and another stick piston here and uh, the ground floor block, I mean um, the block that you used to uh, put in your block, um, in your floor. And let me just explain how this works, if you guys don't know. Um, so this thing you will be triggered by Firstly, we will want to trigger this to pistons, and then we trigger the piston. And if our ground floor is around here, and at this level, 
and uh, the two power has been removed and we can go down but um, if these two these three pistons are extended um, it will just seem like there is no, no nothing to it here so that's the overall idea of the secret um, secret sentient thing but um, to actually wire them up is a little bit hard to figure out but uh, an easy way to do it is to put a two tick delay, um, two tick delay repeater here and then a redstone dust here and um, I think that's all so you just want to put a lever here and yeah so there's that's there's all to it and um, I'm going to do the same thing around here as well and you are going to place two blocks here and a repeater on two ticks and also a redstone dust and then you wanna place a redstone I mean redstone torch there and um, it will just restore its position to closed and then actually now you can put another sand block here on the top so that the, the sand blocks will alternate when you press the button and the next thing you need to do is to um, link up the two devices because they are now separated um, the wiring here is not related with the wiring here and the way to do it is to very simply put a stick piston here and a resting block and a piece of resting here and now we can actually just test this out and you place the button here and press it well um, I just had a um, mistake and here should be let me just remove this position okay so um, the mistake I made was this should be in one take and I think that fixes it and yeah so you see the sand block alternates now it's normal sand and it will be red sand and um, you can act actually place one block here in order to shorten the time and okay if you do block here but not here if you place a block here it's going to fly off somewhere or actually just pop up as an item but um, with this design it's all fine and yeah so so I think that's all for the tutorial of this thing and this is just a combination of um, the secret engines um, contraction with the slime block launching contraction and if you delete these things it would just be a falling sand launcher, launcher thing and to me it is pretty cool but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.